Hi everyone, it's me, Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about something that always seems to come up. Well, it's not a bad thing. You ever thought about that seeker, you know, always learn about that seeker, keeper, loser, sobber? Now... I'm sh no, I'm sure that it sounds mean, you know, just the way it's said. Seeker keepers, loser sobbers. You know, of course, yes, yeah, since if you lose something, you're going to be sad about it. You're going to sob, you know, or you're going to weep. All right, but doesn't necessarily mean that the doesn't mean the loser hat, but it doesn't mean that the seeker has the right to be the keeper. All right, now how does that actually work? You know, I don't know how it works. No one really truly know how it works. And I'm sure that anyone who steals something from someone, but then that's a, but then it doesn't imply something that was lost. That applies something that they took with someone while asking, you know, or, or without giving weird guilt for it. Now, how does this actually work? It would be like I had a dollar. And that's another borrowed word. I lost it. Then someone seeked it, so they get to keep it. It's like this. Oh, I found your dollar. You did? Yeah, well, you know how the law goes. Seeker, keeper, loser, sober. Oh, that's not nice. I mean, pff, that's not good. Yeah, you know it ain't good. But it is what it is. Yeah, that doesn't work. I mean, who comes, who came up with that saying? I'm sure at one time it was said as seeker, keeper, sober, <coughs> loser, sobers. You know? And it doesn't work that way. If someone would steal something from someone, oh, they could. They could, they could make up some saga and tale about how they could claim that they seeked it when someone lost it. Then they could claim that they had the right to keep it. But that doesn't sound right. That, but that's not right. If somebody fought, seeks something that somebody lost, wouldn't it be the right thing to give it back to the man or woman who lost it? I mean... Especially if it was something that they really cared about, something that they beloved, or something that needed to help them, you know, like keys to their far cart, or some, you know, sightware, you know, you know, I mean, the, that, that, that doesn't sound, I mean, that's not right. I mean, and whoever came up with it, they didn't do it, did they? Whoever came up with the saying didn't say, "Oh well, hey Jordan, I found your, uh, I found your, I found your crucifix. You found it? Yeah, I did. But you know how the law goes: seeker, keeper, loser, sober. Oh, uh, that's not good. You can give it back to me. No, I can't. You know." I seeked it so I can keep it. You lost it, so now you're going to be sobbing. Yeah. Doesn't really, doesn't really be good, isn't it? It doesn't really be good, isn't it? It's not really good at all. You know, and whoever came up with it, whoever came up with that saying, it's a pretty mean thing, you know. 
it's it's actually a wrong thing for someone to seek something you know and keep it if they don't know who that who it belongs to it might be harder for them to give it back but it doesn't mean they can't at least try this at least they can't seek to give it back you know so it is what it is i'm jordan long and i'll see you all later